All right, guys. Bruce Lee imitator. This is Fight Commentary Breakdowns, by the way. And that's Zhao Mei Li, our favorite boxing girl. We featured her a few times before. So Bruce Lee imitator getting jabbed right now is the one that challenged our boxing girl. Everyone's challenging this boxing girl. So Bruce Lee imitator, even though he's a Bruce Lee imitator, he actually is trained in traditional Chinese martial arts. He's done Tai Chi, Wing Chun, and Bagua. So has no idea how to deal with a jab. Oh, okay. He's at least thrown into different parts of the body. Ooh, mistimed that. Unfortunately, guys, this is the coach filming, the coach of our boxing girl. So it constantly looks like the coach is almost in the action doing his own head movement. So sorry about that. So, so far, not too wild. Down, ooh, Zhao Mei Li is timing her one-twos. Got another jab. Oof. Bruce Lee imitator. You could argue maybe those are Tai Chi or Bagua strikes, but they just look like pretty bad haymakers. So, from what, if you notice, she almost stumbled. She got hit in the back of the head. We're going to watch the full clip, by the way. These are just highlights from the coach's angle. Someone else filmed this from far away. So, I will show you guys the full match soon, but it wasn't as clear, the full match. So, I had to show you guys the highlights first. Anyways, um, the Bruce Lee imitator does this thing that you see a lot of people do. They completely drop their lead hand too much. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a telegraph. Maybe, I don't know. Um, the point is, Jami Lee's probably going to time that. So we'll see if Jami Lee can figure this guy out. Ooh, oh, nice. So head movement and your cross seems to work on this Bruce Lee imitator. So Jami Lee's head movement's working. Ooh, you just got to be careful, though. She might get hooked, lead hooked, that is. Ooh. I honestly think, despite this looking sloppy, I think the Bruce Lee imitator is actually trying some kung fu techniques. Ooh, that wobbled him. He got wobbled. He got wobbled. So he's trying to have his high guard now. Ooh! Oh, man. Really bad habit, man. He's got a really bad flinch response. See, he's got his high guard. Oof. Now it's, he's too tired to have a high guard. Look at that. Left... His lead jab hand keeps going down, man. Jami Lee's almost timing it. Her overhand almost got him because his left hand's not there protecting himself. Look at that. You see that? Man, um, dude, he's going to get overhand right or cross to the face. I'm just calling it. I haven't seen this before. I'm just calling it. Our Bruce Lee imitator is going to get crossed. So since these are highlights, this is another section of this wild match. Oof. So that was round two. Um, look at that. Jami Lee finally pulls her hair back. She's like, I got to get a little bit more serious. If she puts her hair in a bun, that means she's really serious. So, oh my God. Our Bruce Lee wannabe is gas, man. Look at him. Good head movement by Jami Lee. Dude, her hair's, her hair's gone again. Look at that. Ooh, good head movement. Good head move for boxing, right? For kickboxing, for MMA, that's not going to work. But... Oh, that jab. Ooh, she's jabbed through his guard a few times. Okay, the hitting to the body is working. Even though he drops his left hand, I know what he's doing. He's thinking of pairing, but his left hand's leaving his face too much. Oh, ow, ow, oh! I told you guys her right's going to land on him eventually. So, dude, he is told the guy. See, his oh, her right is landing on. So that guy filming right there, that's the angle we're gonna see next. So, oh man, um, guys, he calls himself the new generation or the next generation Bruce Lee. Okay, I'm not calling him that. So I don't think he deserves it. I think he should give that back, man. Bruce Lee would not fight like this in the ring. You know, Bruce Lee would probably be in sort of like a Philly shell, throw a lot of sidekicks, throw a lot of flick jabs. And Bruce Lee would also never accept a boxing match at his level. He'd be like, no, we do MMA. Just my thoughts. Dude, this Bruce Lee wannabe is... Dude, look at that. Oof. Man, it sucks when you're gassed, man. Look at that. Look at that. You see that? You see that? A little jab by John May Lee. The ref's breaking up the... Oh, that's, that's the ref. So the coach is... Oh, look at that guy. That guy's... That guy's face is just... Rearranged, man. Okay, guys. So here's the full match from that guy that was observing from the ropes. And it's good to see this all so we can come up with our own kind of conclusions, not based on just the highlights. So 
Again, that jab hand being low, I just don't understand it. And then he's got a very bad pull back or lean back reflex, right? You don't need to do that much. Oof, you see that? He got caught right there. Ooh, that was another jab. Oh, this is cool. This actually has slow-mo. So, look at that. That's pretty good. Sorry, this is not my frame rate. This is the frame rate of that guy that was recording. So, unfortunately... It's probably recording like 15 frames per second, but it's the best we got of this match from a full angle, zero cuts or breaks or anything like that. So that's the coach. That's John May Lee's coach or former coach. I think they're still in a falling out stage, I believe. So we're unfortunately not really going to get... Look at him getting so close to the action. Now we have proof that this guy almost wants to get in the action. You see how close the coach was in the action? So, yeah, again, that lead hand being so low, Bruce Lee imitator. He calls himself. So, oof, a little jab landed by Zhang Mei Li. Zhang Mei Li landed another jab. See, he's trying to parry the hand down now, but before he definitely wasn't trying. So this one, look at that. A right got him in the face. Man, look at that, that... Ex Whenever your head's farther away, or you've leaned your head too far that it's past your hind leg, I think that's a problem. Oh, look at her, just connecting. See that? Boom, right there. So he ate three punches to the face. He's trying head movement. Also, I just noticed from this angle, he's definitely not protecting himself when he attacks. I know it's much easier said than done. Even so, I started training Muay Thai again, and even I have that problem now. Sometimes my hands aren't at my face when I'm throwing kicks. It's just that was a bad habit from Capoeira, right? So I gotta tighten my guard. I gotta tighten myself more, my defense when I'm attacking. But you know, I I'm not claiming to be a master. I'm not claiming to be Bruce Lee 2.0 or whatever this guy's trying to do. Oh, by the way, our guy here also claims he once worked as Jack Ma's bodyguard. So, quite a story. Also, he claims he's taken on two to three people and won. So, one of the comments on one of these videos was like, yeah, you can't even beat the boxer girl. How are you going to take on two, three people? You're lying. So, that was a pretty funny comment. So, again, um, very bad attempts at head movement by this guy. He's always going one way, if you notice, right? The whole point of your um, dipping and bobbing and weaving and rolling, etc., is you got to go different ways. You can't just go one way or else they're going to time you. He's always dipping down, going right to left. So this is round two. Let's see if he has any... This is when we saw Zhang Mei Li put her hair up a little bit. You see, her hair's in a ponytail. She's like, I got to get a little serious. So she kind of overextended her right, but this is when we noticed she's trying to time that right because... Our Bruce Lee wannabe drops his left hand so much. So she's trying to time it in a way so she could land a clean power shot at his face. So he does have the high guard, but again, he's going to start dropping it very soon. Look at that. She's just timing that. She wants to hit him with a solid right, and she does in, I think, the third round. We'll see. So, yeah, see that? He's trying to block and parry with both his hands, and unfortunately, she could. She jabbed him in the face. So, oh, she kind of tossed him into the ropes a little. Dude, when you get tossed by a boxing girl into the ropes, there's something wrong with your center. Take back your Tai Chi training, man, because you obviously don't have any center. You don't have any balance. You just got thrown into the ropes. We saw that, man. We saw that. So, look at that. He's dropping his left hand again. He's dropping his left hand. Oh, high guard. He's remembering high guard. Oh, by the way, the guy that we saw recording, that's a different view. So this is a different angle. I just realized, wow, there's so many angles we have to find, man. Guys, if you like that, I really take my time to try to find all these angles, locate all this. Please become channel members, not just subscribers, channel members, man. It really helps. So her jabs are landing. Look at that jab head off center line, right? One of the first things you learn, jab head off center line. So she got him with a hook there.
way off balance. Oh, he also, his foot gets parallel. He gets square sometimes when he squares up. Ha, that's pretty funny. He gets square. His stance gets square sometimes when he starts striking. That could be a Bagua thing or it could be a Tai Chi thing. I don't know, but it's definitely not a boxing thing. People are always like, oh my God, why do you agree to a boxing match? Because boxing match removes a lot of the factors, okay? So it really is a test of your fundamentals, your head movement, your timing, your balance, and how much power you generate, right? To generate power from a punch, it comes from all the way down to the foot, right? And that's apparently what a lot of these traditional Kung Fu styles are training you. You're supposed to generate a lot of power, but they never are able to generate power. Look at that, he's more and more square. I didn't even notice this until we got to see their feet. Look at that, he's becoming more and more square. Look at that. This At this point, it just becomes so just... I don't want to use the word sad, but it is sad. Like, look at this. Look at this. Probably they should have just stopped it. I mean, there was a ref in the ring, right? They should have just given him a standing count. Be like, are you okay? Do you know what day today is? Can you count from 10 backwards? You know, the standard kind of things you talk to people to make sure they're not too concussed or, or to make sure they're not concussed at all, right? It's like, um, do you know what day you were born? Stuff like that. Oh, that jab landed on him. Yeah, so... He's still trying, but again, at this point, look at that lead hand. Both his hands are low now. Look at that. Oh, high guard, high guard. He's remembered. He's remembered. He's remembered. Oof. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, he's giving up. He's giving up. He's giving up. Yeah, he's giving up. Wow. So, guys, that was it, man. I think that was it. And I don't think there's any more. Oh, there's actually a lot more. What? He goes for a third round. Guys, he goes for a third round. He goes for a third round. Okay, I do not agree with this decision. I think they should have stopped it by the end of the second round. So, he actually connected with the lead hook. He turned his back, by the way. I don't know if you saw that. He turned his back. So, look at that. Trying to do some dirty boxing. Oof, she got him. She got him with the right. Notice Dummy Lee's right hand is pretty much always at her face right she knows it's like people will time punches to you if you don't protect yourself when you're attacking i noticed her she sometimes her left hand is not at her her face when she throws a right so that's something people could probably time if they kind of observe how she fights but her right hand's always there which is good so just have to remember shoot your left hand up when you're attacking so Look at that. Zero attempts at angles by him anymore. Oh my god, that's when that's when we saw the right was starting to connect. And I think this is it, man. I don't want to watch any more of this. Obviously at this point, he's really concussed and it's just not a good image for any of them. So we're just gonna stop it here. So let me know if you guys agree with me. I think by round two, seeing how badly he was already wounded, I don't think they should have continued. So we will have a lot more John May Lee footage. One last thing to tell you guys is that I probably have at least 50 recorded commentaries that I haven't put up on fight commentary breakdowns for various reasons. Maybe I wasn't happy with my commentary or I felt like the footage I was commentating on wasn't that good. So I'm flirting with creating a channel called Fight Commentary Extras where I put some of these on because just because I don't like them doesn't mean you guys might not like them. So that's something potentially. If you guys want a channel called Fight Commentary Extras where I put up the stuff that I didn't put up on the main channel, please let me know. Okay, this was Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Thank you so much. Talk to you guys tomorrow.